so the, the problem with this team is that they are basically reacting to any competition as uh, as is like a huge uh, scandal while actually there are trade-offs for example the trade-off with wasabi uh, is that you have this uh, um, it's easy it's easier than it was in, in whirlpool to mess up with post change uh, post post mix uh, change and post mix uh, uh, otxos it's easier to mess up uh, not really easy but easier in wasabi, in wasabi is more difficult the second problem is that for it's not mobile and for them uh, everything must be mobile and i'm not sure i agree about as i said to you i'm not sure i agree that everything must be mobile of on chain part hi and um, uh, and the other <laughs> he escaped and the other uh, so we started to fight and i understood why uh, basically, most of the Bitcoin developers from uh, Luke Dashir to Greg Maxwell to Nicola Dorier to Nopar itself, who is the guy who invented the, uh, the, um, the, the kind of uh, coin join Samurai is using, they actually cannot stand this team anymore because they are like, uh, I, I think they are just hypersensitive. Uh, I think that they are, um, I, I was back, I, I was uh, promoting them with shorts and, and suggestions at the beginning. But I think that they have their heart in the right place. They want to fight hard with privacy. But I think that it just happens that their technical competence, especially at the backend level, and they, they have great UX. They are, they, I think it was one of the world with the best UX. They're also very good at marketing. They like to pretend that they are serious tech people against marketing people and market influencer, but they are great at marketing. They, they are very good at brand, name of the features, uh, explaining of the feature. Most of the best educators are actually around the, the samurai community, like Bitcoin question and answer or uh, Open Noma, other, other people. Are, many people are around their education brand and it works great. So UX, education, branding, uh, marketing, they are great at that. But unfortunately, I think that their technical skill on the privacy sensitive stuff in the background, in the, in the back end, were not matching their ambition. So they just messed up a, a few times. The first time when they came out with blockchain.info API as the background. So that was not good for privacy. And the second time when they, they adapted the Wasabi design to mobile, but now their central server could actually see all the UTXO and the, uh, of, of the people involved. So it was, there was no point to have a Xiaomi uh, coin join if you can see everything. Then they fixed that. They run on Dojo, uh, where you can actually have a, your full node just like in Wasabi. But before it was, it was a problem. And even now, if the majority of people uses uh, the centralized server, the few people using Dojo, if, if they are a minority, they are still exposed to, to, to basically complete link by the server. So you are hiding from external observer, but not from internal observer. And you are forced to just assume good faith, which is not the point of a privacy wallet. And, uh, and then they had some problem in the Tor implementation that green address, green developer uh, disclosed and they fixed it. But every time there is something which doesn't work in, in their software, they overreact, uh, just claiming to be uh, persecuted and oppressed. And I think this created a, a sort of... Uh, uh, alienation with most uh, Bitcoin developers. And so now I think uh, they are forced to uh, pander to another uh, constituency, another target, which unfortunately uh, it's uh, uh, shit coiners. Uh, I, 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 there, there will be like another hour to discuss about Monero here. I think that Monero can be a privacy tool and can be used by people to increase privacy. Uh, unlike most shit coins, Monero has a real world utility right now. But I also think that this reasonable sentence had been twisted over the past years into just use Monero and you are safe. So you have Bitcoin, just buy Monero, transact with Monero, and then your privacy is fine. And I think this is a very dangerous narrative because most of the time, a trivial Bitcoin swoop. So if my merchant on the dark net web wants to hold Bitcoin long term, and I want to hold Monero long term, if we do something trivial like just move Bitcoin from my cold storage to an exchange. Centralized or, or non-centralized, it doesn't matter. It, the centralized swap case is even worse because you have a public um, uh, order book. So you, you change Bitcoin with Monero. 
you lose privacy in the swap because there is a liquidity bottleneck and an anonymity set bottleneck in the exchange. Then you transact with Monero, but Monero doesn't have an infinite anonymity set. The anonymity set is reduced to the ring signature and mitigated by the amount, the correlation, but still it's very limited because fewer people uses Monero so that you have basically a fewer anonymity set, a fewer liquidity, and you're limited to the ring signature. And then the, the merchant has to swap back. Typically, if you go through this bottleneck of liquidity, you, re, you, you may very often reduce your anonymity instead of increasing it. So the typical simple narrative, uh, Bitcoin privacy is broken, just use Monero. I think it's completely, uh, it's completely wrong. If everybody used Monero as a store of value, it will just crash because it's completely unscalable because you have a structure based on spent output instead of unspent output and because you have obfuscation on top of blockchain. So Monero cannot scale, even worse than Bitcoin base layer. And it's not trivial to build upper layer. So you cannot just everybody switch on Monero as a, as a store of value. And if you use Bitcoin as a store of value and all you occasionally use Monero as a minority thing, spot you may actually decrease your privacy so now the samurai wallet people they are uh, they, they have a problem basically when you uh, in order to uh, increase the effectiveness of coin join you should use at least for now there are some other designs but for the typical design created initially by nopara that samurai is using you have to have fixed amounts so Mon so wasabi whirlpool has three pools with decreasing amounts and then you end up with a change that you cannot, you cannot mix anymore. And so what you will do with this is maybe to swap it atomically to something else. The, I think the most reasonable thing would be to swap it with other Bitcoins. So you just do something called coin swap, where you just swap this and nobody can follow anymore. But uh, Samurai instead decided to, to, to do an atomic swap with the Monero altcoin where actually you have to support two completely different architecture and you have to go through a market exchange problem and a market exchange liquidity bottleneck that you will not have with CoinSwap. CoinSwap. Also, you will have all sorts of, you know, uh, problem, uh, price volatility problems like uh, American free call option, free American call option problem with between Monero and Bitcoin. You have a lot of problems created by the price volatility, which you will not have if you just coins, uh, coin swap at Bitcoin with Bitcoin. And I think that the, the reason that Wasabi made this, of course, an easy response to me would be uh, just fork it and do it yourself. I mean, you, I'm criticizing somebody else instead of doing the work, which is fair. I, I, I am. I just think, I mean, you are doing something. I'm not doing that. And I'm just saying your choice is wrong. I, it's just cr criticism. And, um, and I think that the, I suspect the reason to do this is not because it te technically makes more sense, but because right now the fan base of the very strongly minded and vocal uh, fan club of, uh, of uh, Samurai is actually merged with this kind of uh, uh, altcoin community within Monero that thinks that you just switch to Monero and your privacy is fixed, which is absolutely not the case. And so I took, uh, um, um, I took an old tweet by Samurai that say that if they ever added any altcoin feature, uh, they would be considered have to be considered compromised. And then I push I, I put these together with the new uh, tweet where they are supporting uh, the, the the Bitcoin side of the atomic swap with Monero, and uh, and I just put that like uh, how it started, how it's going, and they were super offended. And I, I think that uh, well, okay, there are many personal things that I don't want to enter in, but I just. I, I'm just, um, let's say I was in love with Wasabi, uh, sorry, with Samurai, and I'm not uh, anymore. And you know, when the love story ends, there may be some bitter feelings, and that's probably the case here uh, in, on my side. I, I'm not claiming that they were ever in love with me, uh, probably not, but I was, and, and now I'm not, and that usually sucks. It's a true, true heartbreak story of uh, 2021, i got to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, thanks. I, uh, God, I appreciate your answers. And uh, I, hey, I, I, th I think there's a lot more to ask. I think maybe even a, a part two sometime later this year could be could be really useful if, you, if you're ever uh, open to it. But um, I really appreciate you coming on. Um, we definitely should wrap up because the time is, uh, is ticking by. But um, it's been fantastic. And uh, I've learned a lot already um, and some new kind of... Uh, 
ways to criticize uh, ethereum for me as well which is great um and so yeah i really appreciate uh yeah coming on and, and sharing your knowledge and wisdom with us um and yeah for everyone out there listening appreciate you guys tuning in uh, but yeah thanks jacomo um, it was awesome to have you um and i hope that you have an awesome rest of the week and i hope that everyone listening has a great rest of the week as well uh, and remember to buy bitcoin bye everybody Thank you.